All right, Nerd Awesome Live, coming to you from Southern California here. It's April 19, 2017, 4, 10 p.m. in the afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Hey, I just want to do a quick uh, update on Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly is out at Fox News. I was talking about him this morning. Everybody should have been hearing by now that he's been in the middle of a brawl between uh, uh, women uh, accusing him of sexual harassment. This has been going on for a while. If it's not the women accusing him of sexual harassment, it was the family fighting and uh, abuse, allegedly, coming against uh, him from his uh, wa former wife, I guess, over the months and even years. Uh, even some reports stating that uh, O'Reilly had choked his uh, wife and dragged her in front of uh, her, uh, his kids. Anyways, the top news today is Bill O'Reilly is forced out at Fox News. Uh, New York Times, another one here, uh, Huffington Post, O'Reilly is out. Uh, over and over, Fox News, uh, what else? I mean, uh, Huffington Post, CNBC, Washington Post, LA Times, <laughs> O'Reilly out. Bye bye Now, I was never a fan of Bill O'Reilly. I always felt that he had weird connections with the Vatican. He was like a Vatican worshiper. Now, if you've been watching my videos on DarrellLawson.com, on my YouTube channel, or wherever, uh, online, I have Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, I do three shows a day, two live on Facebook Live, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every day, and then I have over 1,500 videos on my YouTube channel. And now working on about 300 extra videos on Facebook Live. I mention all the time, and I'm no fan of the Vatican. I believe the Vatican runs the New World Order. So other stations, they glorify the New World Order in different ways. Obama when he was there, Hillary, blah, blah, blah. But uh, Fox News glorified, lifted up, worshipped the Vatican, which was really sickening. When you really know what the Vatican is up to, the Vatican, I believe, runs the New World Order. Uh, she is the m richest corporation on the planet right now. She's the most corrupt. Anyways, even Bill O'Reilly uh, took a vacation, was it uh, last week or the last few days, and went to meet the Pope. Yeah. Well, was he expecting the Pope to help him? Bill O'Reilly meets Pope Francis in the Vatican in the VIP line. <laughs> well, that sure didn't help him today. Because he's out. Now, Daryl, do you hate uh, Bill O'Reilly? Did I say I hate Bill O'Reilly? No, I think Bill O'Reilly uh, was uh, a plant of the Vatican. I think he worked directly with the Jesuits, if not a Jesuit himself. Uh, he would always uh, sneakily, is that even a word? Slyly, uh, underhandedly talk about uh, things that you wanted to hear about conservative th issues. But there was always this seepage. There's always this twisting. It's all, all underlying weirdness of this Vatican worship. I'm telling you, the Bible is very plain on people that are part of the world religions. Get out of them! Jesus said, run from them. Come out of her, my people, that you don't partake of their sins and their plagues. <laughs> A lot of people think, well, I'm just going to change the Mormon church. I'm going to change Judaism. I'm going to change Mormonism and Catholicism and Jehovah Witnessism and blah, 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 and Buddhism. I'm not going to change them. Jesus says, get out of them. Yeah, anyways, including Islam and uh, all the other religions, yeah. You need the blood of Jesus. You need to get born again, Jesus said. Born again, spirit-filled. That's what you need, all right? Okay. So oh, Bill O'Reilly's out. And this morning I said, you know, I, I think that, you know, uh, Tucker Carlson's probably going to take his position. And sure enough, boom, right, right today, Tucker to replace O'Reilly. Time slot. It's great. I like Tucker. Tucker Carlson. Uh, now, who's going to take his spot? You know, is that Eric Bowling or maybe Greg, what's his name? Gutfeld or whatever? Uh, probably Eric Bowling. I think uh, either not, they're going to pick people that have already been on the program. Fox, Fox is going to pick them and that people are already accustomed to and have a pretty good following. Yeah, so it was a no-brainer. I, I said this morning before even it came out. Uh, I think the, the easy choice was Tucker Carlson to take over Bill O'Reilly. I think uh, Tucker even had better ratings a lot of the times anyways, yeah. So, uh, very interesting. Tucker to replace O'Reilly time slot. Fox News has decided to move Tucker Carlson to Bill O'Reilly's former time slot. Well, that's because uh, uh, Tucker is, is more uh, honest. Tucker is not a Vatican Pope butt kisser. Yeah, like O'Reilly was. Yeah, It's going to eventually hurt you. If, you. if you play with the New World Order, part of the New World Order, it's going to eventually destroy you. The first will be last, Jesus said. The last will be first. Yeah. The Murdochs have decided Bill O'Reilly, his 21-year tenure with Fox News is over. And I've selected Tucker Carlson as the man who will take over the host prime time slot. I think that's great. 
I think O'Reilly has already been scared of Tucker and uh, bringing more stress. Uh, and uh, I think O'Reilly's personal life was just falling apart. The O'Reilly Factor has been the, the top cable news program for 15 years. But I think lately it's been taking a dive. Yeah, Tucker Carlson tonight will be under pressure to deliver similar ratings. But it's not the first time. I think Tucker does fine. He, he's just, he's got, I think he's got a good heart. I think he's already proven, proven, proven himself to, to uh, well, didn't he take over Megan Kelly's time slot? I think it was great. Yeah. Uh, Tucker replaced Megan Kelly's time slot, where she was the second most watched uh, host on cable. And he immediately topped her ratings. So it's a no-brainer. And don't forget, uh, Tucker Carlson has been on InfoWars and Alex Jones' show and alternative media a, a lot in the past. So, ha, ha, ha. People want that. They don't want Vatican media. Now, I mentioned yesterday that uh, people are attacking Alex, Alex Jones because he's going through, uh, I guess, a divorce and uh, child custody battles and all that. But hell, hey, uh, welcome to the planet. Uh, last time I checked, uh, Alex Jones wasn't Jesus, all right? Yeah, Alex Jones is and has done a lot to fight the New World Order. Uh, he says he loves Jesus. Uh, uh, I think he's got a good heart. He's He's human. And I tell people, give him a break, all right? Uh, I think he's one of the top uh, news sites to fight the New World Order uh, for years now. And I think I think the New World Order just hates Alex Jones, is giving him a hard time. But I think Alex will pull through, no problem. <laughs> but don't forget, I mean, you can see uh, uh, Tucker Carlson uh, on InfoWars many times. Go on YouTube and take a look at that. So the fact is, is that uh, the Vatican Pope butt kisser Bill O'Reilly. Do you hate, hate Bill O'Reilly? Did I say I hate him? I pray for him. I just don't like him. But the Pope uh, butt kisser is out. Bill O'Reilly's out. Bye bye. You know, it's kind of interesting that, uh, you know, these patterns, you know, the Vatican is known for its doling out of cash because of its sexual harassment, pedophile, uh, priests, and all that. And, uh, you become like the people you hang around with. All right. Let me just say that. Right. So if you're hanging around with, the religions that have these weaknesses, you become like that. You become as dumb as they are, blind and deaf and perverted. Yeah, I'm just saying. Not, that's not to say other people aren't tempted. The Bible even says about Jesus, Jesus was an always, always tempted as we are, but without sin. You know, there's only one person that's never sinned, but that's Jesus. But the fact of the matter is to say that, well, that's an excuse for me to hang around with these dumb political uh, people and dumb religions. It's just, an, it's just, a, it's ignorant. You become slimed by them. That's why I just finished a, uh, my second live show today, Facebook Live. And I, I encourage people, I beg people, listen, you've got to spend time in the Bible every day, washing yourself, training yourself, uh, being reminded of what, how God rules, Jesus, the Father, the Holy Spirit, what they think, what they think is good, what they think is evil. Not what Hollywood, not what Bill, Bill O'Reilly thinks, not what Fox News. It's got on a daily basis so that we can keep ourselves on the narrow road that leads to life. They that endure to the end shall be saved. So Bill O'Reilly's out. Bye bye And he even went to meet the Pope. Yeah, this is uh, April 19th. Here's from the New York Times. Bill O'Reilly meets Pope Francis. What, what did he expect? <laughs> save me! Save me, Popey! Hey, the Pope's not going to save you. The Pope can't save himself. <laughs> Pope E.R. Francis. Bill O'Reilly, the powerful Fox News host, uh, uh, forced out of his primetime position because of barrage of sexual harassment, spent the morning uh, with Pope Francis, I guess, just in the VIP line. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> Maybe O'Reilly's going to get a job at the, at, the, at the Vatican. I still believe there's some weird connection between the Jesuits and O'Reilly because there's too much uh, of this butt-kissing and this Pope... Uh, 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 idol fest between uh, you can you can see it you can see it a lot on Fox News, but now that O'Reilly's gone, uh, I wonder who's going to kiss the Pope's butt on Fox News. You know, uh, hopefully Hannity. If Hannity pulls away from the Vatican, which I hope he does, and 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 the Roman Catholic Church, I think uh, you know because he gets slimed. I think Tucker Carlson is probably the most uh, untainted person about Pope butt kissing. I hope I can see that. I can see it in his speech and in the way he acts. We'll see. Some people change, you know. Uh, so hopefully Tucker Carlson stays uh, fresh, you know. But when people get successful or people get uh, slimed, 
they change. So uh, I thought it was kind of strange that you know, Bill O'Reilly shoots for, uh, you know, goes to the Rome. <laughs> for what reason? Save me, save me. You know, what was he trying to do, get a job there? Pope, pray for him. Uh, I'm sure uh, O'Reilly's going to walk away with a good settlement or a, what do they call it, severance package or whatever. From uh, Fox News, yeah. I mean, didn't they give Roger Ailes forty million? You know, so I don't think he's going to hurt for money. But if he has all these problems and lawsuits, who knows? Maybe he'll go broke. I'm telling you, stick with Jesus and not stupid religion. Yeah. So he's out. Bye bye. It's all over. Which I'm glad. I've been praying about this for a long time. I said, Lord, by the way, you're going to be done with Bill O'Reilly. The guy bugs me. He's too much of a Vatican butt kisser. And uh, slowly but surely, or maybe probably more quicker, quick, uh, I say slow, slow, slowly but surely, I think it was quicker than I thought. All of a sudden, Bill O'Reilly's out. Who would have expected that? Megan Kelly, bye-bye. Bill O'Reilly, bye-bye. I think actually Fox, Fox News, because they're putting Tucker in that main position, will actually come out on top and uh, be actually, uh, probably be stronger because of this, yeah. So I think it's a smart move that Fox did. And uh, who wants to, you know, uh, I don't know if, if Fox is going to even be uh, uh, responsible for paying these women uh, money uh, for sexual harassment. Didn't they pay the other uh, women money? So they're probably just going to cut their, uh, cut Bill O'Reilly and their losses and run. Yeah, which I think is smart. But they make a, you know, a lot of money. And don't forget, Bill O'Reilly was losing all his sponsors during the program. You have all these commercials and sponsors paying Fox News to be in during the time slot of Bill O'Reilly. Well, Bill O'Reilly was losing most of his sponsors, so that was a lot of money. So it's all about the money, honey. So Bill O'Reilly is, is gone, and I think the sponsors are going to be jumping in to be at that time slot again with uh, Tucker Carlson, which is very, very smart. Yeah, so... Again, uh, here's one from Time. Tucker Carlson will take over Bill O'Reilly's time slot. It's gonna, I think it's going to break all records. It's already He's already been doing a great job. Now he's going to have a, a great primetime uh, uh, spot. And if people are smart like Hannity and other people on, on Fox News, uh, they'll actually uh, be more like Tucker. Now, I don't watch him every night, but what, when I do see him, uh, Tucker, I think he's on, on, on the ball. I think he's... Uh, uh, cutting to the chase. I think he's uh, not slimed with all the other Vatican kiss the Pope's butt uh, slime uh, <laughs> slime balls. Yeah, so it's good. I like it, I like it, I like it. Will Fox turn his back on Bill O'Reilly? Well, that was back from April. He's already gone, so. Uh, four hours ago, Bill O'Reilly's gone. Now, the whole question is whether he's going to say a goodbye. Uh, you know... I guess if more uh, sexual harassments come out of the woodworks between now and Friday, maybe not. But if everything stays the same, they I, I would imagine they would allow you know O'Reilly to have one more goodbye maybe Friday, and Tucker Tucker come in on Monday. I'm guessing. Uh, but uh, maybe Bill is going to freak out, and who knows? Maybe he won't do it. Uh, he just signed a contract with Fox, a renewal contract, uh, uh, multi year, so. Maybe they're just going to pay him out. He's going to right off, into the, right off into the sunset. The thing I like about it, I don't care really about, uh, I don't know Bill O'Reilly. You know, I don't wish any harm to him. But I, I like the fact that the Vatican is losing power at Fox News by this move. Right? Yeah. Bill O'Reilly is definitely a Pope butt kisser. And uh, the Vatican is losing him. The Jesuits are losing a, a talking head. At Fox News. So I like it. I like it. And I like it. Anyways, I just want to give an update on that. You know, I read a scripture here. I'll read it again. Mark chapter 4, verse 22. There's nothing hid that shall not be manifested or made known. Neither uh, anything kept secret, but that should become abroad. So we're going to know in these last days who is who and what is what. Uh, verse 23. If any man have ears to hear, let them hear. What's really going on? Jesus said, take heed what you hear, what, with what measure you meet or what measure you listen, what what measure you measure your, or how much you spend listening to the Bible and the Holy Spirit and not crazy religious leaders. It shall be measured to you and unto you that hear shall more be given. But he that listens to the Holy Spirit in Jesus, verse 25, to him shall be given. <laughs> Tucker Carlson is getting promoted. Or Riley is getting his butt kicked, you know, because he's not listening. He's listening to the Pope, and that's a mistake. And he that has not, not listened to Jesus, but kissing the Pope's butt 
From him shall be taken even that which he has. Daryl, do you hate the Pope? Well, the Pope's the false prophet. He's going to be cast in the lake of fire, so I don't like him. Obama's the Antichrist. Uh, Pope Francis is the false prophet. These two will bring great hell on the earth during the Great Tribulation. They're already bringing great hell, hell, but the world hasn't even seen the great hell unleashed yet, which will happen after the next rapture. And Pope Francis and Obama will be in on it, leading it. So, yeah, I don't like them. No way. All right? And he that has not, that's not listening to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, even if they say they are, but they're not. Listen, these religionists they always say, oh, yeah, we believe in Jesus. We believe. We believe. Yeah, Jesus said in the last days, many will come and say that he's the Christ. Jesus is the Christ, but will deceive many. This is what we're seeing right now. Yeah. And he that hath not doesn't have this practice of listening to the scriptures, to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, shall be taken away even that which he has. So Bill O'Reilly's stuff has been taken away, his position. And if he doesn't repent and stop worshiping these these false idols and false religions, he will lose everything and even his soul. I hope to God he, he, he turns around before it's too late. Hopefully this is a wake-up call to Bill O'Reilly. But like I said, maybe it's even a Jesuit plant. And the Jesuits losing some power and control here at Fox News, which I am happy. All right, Darrell Lawson, live, signing off right now here. I'm, I'm here three times a day. Twice on Facebook Live every day, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., Monday through Friday and Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. And I do a recap like here on YouTube every day as well. Go to my, uh, my website, DarrellLawson.com. Check out all my videos and more, DarrellLawson.com. All right, I'll see you online, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.